Coroplast is a surprisingly versatile material for housing oversized library material. It's a chemically inert polyolefin copolymer. It's a lightweight corrugated material, so will not add unwanted bulk to oversized objects, such as ledger books that may weigh as much as 25 pounds before housing. It is rigid enough to provide tremendous support for objects such as Pulitzer Prize winner Wallace Stegner's typewriter, which weighs 30 pounds. Coroplast boxes can be modified to provide extra protection for fragile material, such as this plasticine sculpture. The model required seismic supports that would not touch the object, yet will provide protection if necessary during an earthquake. In the case of this Japanese koto, inert plank ethophone blocks are modified to provide support for the instrument and then covered with airplane linen. Once the object is securely fit in its housing, braces are added to keep the relatively lightweight box securely closed. In the case of the life-size poster of William Christensen, founder of Ballet West, the box dimension exceeded the four by eight foot width of a raw sheet of coroplast, so two sheets had to be joined together. The overlap is nearly invisible and is created by separating the sheets, removing the corrugation, and joining the outer skin with 3M's 415 double-sided tape. The ability to join the already large 4 by 8 foot sheets makes the material adaptable for most library objects. Staff at the University of Utah's J. Willard Marriott Library have developed a number of useful housing options for storing oversized, unconventionally shaped, and overly heavy three-dimensional objects that are becoming more commonplace in research libraries. In the case of the housing for this seven-foot scale model of a NASA Saturn V rocket, the object is fitted with cloth handles for transport and seismic safety belts to attach the box to structural columns within the library. The rocket body is supported with cloth-covered ethophone gantry collars held in place with Velcro ties. The walls of the coroplast box are constructed so the two are simple vertical supports while the other two wrap around them on each side and are fastened with a series of toggle bolts. So the whole object is protected within a microclimate from changes in temperature and relative humidity, light, particulate matter, and from falling during an earthquake. For institutions located in earthquake country, a risk assessment indicates the greatest collections risk is to fragile media such as glass. Inside commercially available archival shoe boxes, the glass plates are snugly packed within loose-fitting alkaline paper sleeves and inert closed-celled polypropylene envelopes designed to reduce movement and rattling. Corrugated polyfluted coroplast used to build the housings was cut to fit precisely so it is mechanically constrained within the shelving steel frame. The housings are folded to produce a four-sided rectangular tube plus a fifth overlapping flap closed with Velcro tab. Pairs of these coroplast housings fit back to back on each three foot deep shelf so each shelf can accommodate 10 archival storage boxes front to back. While prefabricated coroplast boxes are currently available from commercial archival suppliers in standardized sizes for housing documents, maps, and textiles, custom-fitting coroplast boxes offer unlimited opportunities for exploration and are recommended for consideration as a conservation option.